back in McAdam here for Car Player TV and I'm with Neil Channing who's at the final table of the 5k shootout. Now it's the first break, Neil, how are you getting on? They're bashing me up, Rebecca. I was, uh, I don't know, I sort of thought I'd kind of take it a bit quiet in the middle stages of this first couple of hours and I, I sort of had a plan that the first 20 minutes I'd play quite busy and mm -hmm. get busy. Uh, because I think people are very nervous and they tend to let the first couple of laps of the table go round. Uh, so I raised quite a bit with a load of our rubbish for the first like 20 minutes. And then, uh, um, yeah, Nicholas was very unlucky. Nicholas Levy, he got knocked out. And uh, um, the other fella, uh, Grant, I think his name was, he, he was a bit unlucky in a pot. I thought he should have gone broken up pot. And it, so they're both out. So that's kind of good, I guess. But uh, yeah, you're supposed to have 2.2 million. And I just counted, I have like 1.3. I played with that Joe that's on my left before a couple yeah. of times. Don't, I can't really remember where, but he remembered me straight away. So I, I, I think we must have clashed a bit. I sort of remember him from somewhere. Yeah, he beat um, Phil Hivey heads up to get to the oh, second right, round. Okay. Yeah. That's nice to know, that. isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Okay. I mean, he's, he's okay. He plays all right. And I, I've seen a couple of quite good players on the rail and I think they're railing him so I think they're his backers and uh, if they're his backers he's probably quite good. I, I wish I was Praz Banzi right now I think. <laughs> I, I, uh, when we, I was watching him when there was uh, when he was in the final and it was seventh out of eight and I, I kind of thought I've got a better chance than him because I'm in the final and he's seventh out of eight and I've only got six people to beat and he's way below average and, I'm, and I've got average. But now he already has his uh, bracelet. he's already got his bracelet. <laughs> so he's probably got a better chance than me now. Um, it'd be really good to win it, though. Um, you know, generally, anyway, obviously. But um, I would love to, like, I don't know when the bracelet ceremony is, but I'd like to share the stage with Praz. That would be great. Um, can you tell me a little bit what it's like to go into a final table of an event like this where you're all kind of the same stacks? Yeah. It's like starting again. Uh, yeah, it's quite good because you don't have to think about, normally you have like dynamics about thinking about who the short stack is and what kind of guy they are and whether the, the kind of the guys that are sort of got middle to below average chips are going to try to climb up the ladder or whether they're going to um, be gambling to try and get back into the tournament. Uh, obviously there's no considerations like that, everyone just comes in with the same chips. No, I mean, I used to come to World Series in like 2004, 2005 on a really small budget and just grind out the one table um, satellites. Uh, and the only way I would play tournaments is if I won some seats here and there. And, uh, you know, I was pretty good at them, actually, uh, I have to say. That's normally I go for self-deprecating, this time just blowing my trumpet. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've played hundreds of them and I, I used to play quite a lot of online sit and goes um, maybe five years ago. So, I, you know, I think I'm... I may not have kept up with advances in sit and go strategy, and I think there there have been a lot. And I don't sit and watch videos about sit and goes. So I yeah. can't think of anything worse. But um, I I think I'm push uh, push bot and all that stuff and re raise re raise. You know, two card chicken. I can do that with the young guys. You're you old know. school. You don't lose that stuff though. You can. I, I, you know, I have I have um I I don't do a Phil Helmuth. I won't be. Uh, I'm not like, oh, I saved my tournament life. I'm more of a, you know, if I have a 52%, 48%, I'll stick the whole lot in. So um, I think that helps in this shorthanded. You know. Well, hopefully we'll see you sticking it all in and doubling up and going on to take it down and add a bracelet to your Irish Open trophy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I thought we'd got through a whole interview yeah. without anybody <laughs> mentioning the Irish <laughs> Open there. Yeah, champion it's here. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. Yeah, I did win, win, win something once. Yeah, that would be nice. I want to win a bracelet. I do really want it. On that note, Neil, Sorry. we'll have to let you go back to the table yeah. and hopefully we'll see you making it deep and if not winning it. You never know. Well, thanks for talking to us. Well, I've made it deep. We're already on fourth. How well, making deep it deeper. Sorry. I bet you right. can do better. You can do better. All right. Thanks, Million. Yeah. Stay tuned to carplayer.com for more video updates and live coverage of this guy and a lot more. I'm Rebecca McAdam for Carplayer TV.